Good day guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. In my last video, I talked about how to make use of data validation list in Anuze. So today, we are going further on creating validation list in Anuze. In other words, we are going to talk about adding a custom validation error in our work today. You know in my, in my last video that whenever you enter data that does not comply with the valid, valid, uh, validated list it will supply an error message this is the default error message that comes out of the Z data validation tools for example let me say if let me create uh, let me use a an, an example an example of this id here now let me create an let me insert a list that, I, that does not part of my validated list. You can see it, it, it shows a display that the value you enter is not valid. A user has restricted value that can be entered into this cell. Now that is great. So the, we can also specify our own custom error. By this way, we can practicalize more explicit and descriptive messages to our own users, or we can formulate or a descriptive errors messages to take into consideration by by all by our users as well. That is by creating our own custom message here, right? This it, okay. Let's start it. The same procedure of C apply except that the error alert box that display in earlier message will be will be customized by us all right the first step here is to alight the car make heading here by dragging it down to control shift plus you can drag it to anywhere it is to depending on how how many uh, employee ID you want to hide now now go to the data click on data then go to data validation then click on data validation all right so what you want to what you want to do here is to add an a, add a custom custom error message you can work on any one of the style here if you want to to display stop then followed by the error message or you want it to for display warning then followed by the remission or information so but I want let me make this up stop here so now the title I want to to display error message under the word the head of car make so let me make it let me name this the title to be car make right so then what type of error message do I do I want it to display once a wrong invalidated data is has uh, is been added to this list so i wanted to okay just say, let me say try again all right you have entered an incorrect incorrect karmic right please select a valid a valid make from the drop down menu good all right so let me click on okay so now i've been able to create a custom message whereby if any staff ha come over to this template and add any further um 
can make the tau the one that has already been validated here so the element that is going to display it has already been customized now let me make this up let me add another employee ID maybe let me say four five seven seven four zero zero five all right okay now look at what is going to happen here let me if if and uh, look at all the my data and uh, data about the tail is uh, which are Toyota, Passat, and Photon. So, what if I had Honda, which is not part of the, my data validated list? Honda, you can see what you can see now. See, this is the LMS that are, that are already because I have charge it because I've been able to customize. Try again, you have enter an incorrect car make. Please select a valid make from the drop down menu. So, the custom validation validation actually explain to user what they did wrong and the step need to uh, to do to fix them if you don't describe to them what they need to do the next thing you see a series of questions on your desk probably they will say sir i am stuck how do i go about it so it's better to create a custom custom message by guiding them what the, what the, the necessary step they need to take before they can work they can go further in the in the template thank you and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel as so i will keep updating you on the videos and the instructions bye